Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. I am back from the Growing Expo. I got this wonderful hoodie. Uh, so straight out the grooming salon. I got this from Goomber Girls. You can get it on their website. Um, but I just want to show you all the stuff that I got. I am going to have a montage of everything together with um, two of the classes that I did. I did three classes, but my phone died by the second one. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot of cool stuff. There was a lot of cool dogs there. I definitely need to work on my grooming um, and start doing some angles and just pretty much overall fixing my boo-boos. Um, I know I work with dogs that aren't not show dogs, but I really want to try and, and do a competition next year. So, okay. I got a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm so in the middle of the place with Charlie Hicks, right? And I finally go quiet and I'm like, his paperwork is sitting. I'm like, is this Charlie Hicks down here? And now she's like, no, I accidentally checked him in. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 Oh, that's Cooperdale. That's Ansley's dog. I told her, I said I would remember her. Oh, okay. He didn't have a thing on it. He didn't have a tag. So he's like, quite chunky. I was like, surely that's not my greater Swiss mountain dog. I gotta put that in this bag. <laughs> but I, so put, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no. That is um, Cooperdale. Oh, I forgot. I stole this banana. Well, technically I didn't really steal it. It was from breakfast from yesterday from the hotel. Um... But this whole big bag is literally full of goodies. Um, now, I, I do, in that little montage, I'll post pictures, the pictures that are just chilling down there. So this way I can show you. Um, I got these scissors and I'll show you these scissors. These are like some cool beads that I got from... Um, Precision sharpening and they just light up. I'm gonna add them to my little beads because I have little Christmas beads and I have little Halloween beads and now I have St. Patty beads. I'm gonna figure out where the frick to put them. Hopefully, we'll put them right there. Okay. <clears throat> I think I got these scissors from a place called BP. Um, I did get one of these. Um, chart for the front for the girls. I'm going to put paper on the place that I got. Okay. I did get a fluff out comb. Um, this, the fluff comb will basically help make the coat stand up higher. Um, and I got this comb. It's really, really nice. So I'm definitely going to start using that. Uh, I'm trying to find the card. Okay. So, this is the card from where I got these scissors, and then these are the little scan cards, uh, if you want to scan those. <clears throat> um, the first pair I got is a pair of curved, they're like thinner chunker type things, and I used these on my dogs yesterday, oh my one dog yesterday. They are absolutely amazing. They're eight inch. Just listen to that. They feel amazing. They're super duper light. I cannot wait to use them. Um, I'm definitely gonna get rid of some of the ones I have over here to make room for my new ones. Um, and they did come with a nice little thing of Uber, which I don't need, really, so you know, let me get a trash can. So I can trash those. I did get this. I, remember I was telling y'all about this groomer wall? I did get the groomer wall. Um, I don't know if you could see it. But I did get the groomer wall. <clears throat> and you'll, you will see me do that uh, in the videos to where the dogs won't have to lean so far away. That is a, I think it's a 48 inch and I paid $215 for it. Um, the wall is basically, it's kind of like a partition for your table so that the dogs don't go all the way over to Easter your bumble and you're not like leaning over and pulling them back. Um, and it also kind of helps give them a little bit of security. You know, I got up and got the thing and I, look, I left the damn trash can over there. 
anyway, um, these were by, uh, is this the right one? I think this is the right one. Yeah, I got these from here, um, sharpening sharpies, and here's a QR code if you want to scan that, but this is where I got these from. Um, look at their little hemp. It's so stinking cute. The guy has been in the business for a long time. He's a small business. So, um, super funny. Super funny. Um, <clears throat> but I got these nice, cute little curves right here. Comes with little, uh, finger thingamabobbers. And these are already eight inch, I believe. No, these are seven inch. These are seven inch curves. They're not like super curves, but they're they're nice little curves. Um, I can't wait to use those. I'm gonna pop out these little trash ones. And then when you get these little things, you just pop them right in to your shear. And it gives you a little bit more hold. Just listen to those. And he sharpens shears too. So, but I'm gonna keep this box because this is a really stinking cute box. It's gonna go down there. Okay. I did get some cute little, um, I don't know how I love my stickers, but I got this little sticker right there. I did, I went to get a schmuck, and the first day I could not find a schmuck, um, and I've always wanted to try the ladybird stuff, but I'm like, they kind of run in um, European, Asian kind of style, so I was like, well, they don't have my fat, fluffy size, because normally I get a 3X, because I get the next size up, because when I wash it, it kind of dries, and it shrinks. So, I was like, okay, well, they can't have that, so what I did get was, this little, um, I just put it on. This is awesome, so you guys can see it better. And it goes all the way around. And look at how long these straps are, like, super long. So if you're, like, you're fluffier than me, these are going to fit you. And I've got plenty of room. But the awesome thing is, look. Where's it at? Hold on. They got pockets. There's another pocket. There is. It's got two pockets. And this is the material on the back. It's really good material. Um, and then I also, on the third day, I was like, oh, they restocked some of the stuff. I'm going to take this shirt off. I'm going to actually put this schmack on. I feel like I should have, like, sexy music here because I'm stripping for y'all. Oh, let me dance for y'all. Y'all are like, please stop. That's just too much. <clears throat> okay. So, I did find this um, schmock there. Now, this is a 6X. Yes, it's extra fat, large, and in charge. Uh, $52. That's the front. That is the back. Um, and then, look, it's got the little Ladybird logo on there. Sit it down. And it's got the same kind of inside as the other one, so you're not like sweating. This is a lot looser. I mean, I probably could have cut the 5X and it would have been fine. But I was like, you know what? I don't like stuff really baggy on me. And you know that coming a month, we all kind of bloat more. And I really like that it covers the zipper. You got pockets here. And the cool thing is, you know how we always get those hair down there or a turd? You can unzip this and bloop, get all the hair out of there. And if you have a, a, a loose turd down in there in your pocket, it's gone. So that was quite nice. So that's my new schnacky. My nice little jacket. I want to put my jacket in there. Then. But this thing, y'all, from Grimmer Girls, I'm telling you, you need to get it. If you need to get a sweater or a hoodie or a jacket, this is so, so unbelievably soft. 
unbelievable result. Um, it, it's like a billion out of a ten. It's how great it is. Um, this was another free bag that I got third day. Uh, Rumor Halls was trying to get rid of a lot of their stuff. So I got a nice little tote from them. Now, I wasn't planning on getting a pair of clippers because I had brought my Bavaras with me because it really needs a new case. That and plus I pushed the button so hard. <laughs> it's got a hole in it. Um, but I did order a housing finally from somebody. Um, now these were supposed to be a knockoff of the Arteros. Uh, I paid sixty dollars for these, and I was really mad because the lady that said that the knockoffs that she had in her shop were Kodos, um, and I eventually I did find them from the same place I got um, the shears from. Um, the first, the second shear was was this, um, but in the box you get your clipper, your charger. The charger goes in there. And then when you turn this on, you get to like a little LED. And you can change the speed. Um, this is this is your 40, and then it goes all the way down to a 10. And you have some clip-on combs. I'm just going to leave it all out the box because I don't need it. Can you push that trash can to me? I got up earlier and I was like, yeah, I'm going to push this trash can to me. And I was like, yeah, I didn't do that. Let's see if this thing works. Oh, yeah, that's a sample. Right now she's using the um, sample from wet pet. Yeah, I know that sample is in there. Um, it's in there somewhere. But it's a wet pet towel that absorbs all of the water from the dog. So it dries them a lot quicker and you can just wring it out and redry them. Um, they say that a lot of people buy them and then some of them will just toss it out. Um, but these were the condos that I found. These ones, um, I got some from here and they were 50, they were $50, they were $10 cheaper. Uh, but these are supposed to be the, the knockoffs of the, the that brand. What's the, what did I say it was? The Arteros? Sounds right. <clears throat> and you push that button there. And if you want to move this, you have to push this button here to move it up and down. But your finger has to stay on that button. Um, and it comes with a nice little charger. Same type of thing in your cones. Um, now I did buy a extra comb for that, um, an extra blade for that. These were some of the free stuff that I got. Some little bows. I use that later. You got another Chris Christensen brush. I was going to get the case, but I was like, yeah, I'm probably never going to use a case, but I probably should have got the case. Um, but I'm probably going to bring the backup ones at home. But this wet pen, this is the um, product that she's using on that, that dog over there. This one. Uh, this was a sample. So I'm going to have that over there. Oh, uh, this seems to work better than a towel. It does? Mm -hmm. So, oh, Jody! Probably not enough that I would buy it. Buy. Like, so it's kind of like a sham wow. Yeah. Thing. Um, I got this for the faces. Helps clean off the faces. This is an all natural um, product. And then they gave me a sample. This is a 50 to 1, so this will last us a long time. It smells really nice. I got another one of these from Pet Edge. I mainly wanted it for the top um, because I have the bottom that is uh, in rainbow day color. And I low-key really, really miss it because for some reason the top here 
it just kind of goes, it doesn't spritz. Um, and this is kind of like a mist, so when you spray it, it shoots out continuously. This is really, really good. Um, so if you don't have a bottle like this, get one. Um, I got a little diamond head. And then I eventually ended up getting um, the actual diamond diamond heads. Um, I got some grubby dog. Don't tell Whiffy since I cheated on them. But I love the way some grubby dog smells. It smells so good. <clears throat> uh, I got some natural uh, shining detangler. These were free samples that I got from uh, the groomers hall. These are by Arctero. And I'm actually quite excited because I was like, I'm actually gonna probably buy these. These are for the ears. You just stick your finger in there and clean out the ears. And they have it in for the teeth. And they also have it for the eyes. And I used this eye one yesterday on my, my Winston and it worked amazing. Um, this was another sample I got. Uh, it was a whitening shampoo. I've used this before. This is a really, really good shampoo. Uh, this is just a sample of this bottle. And I was like, you know what? I needed a spray, so I bought the spray. And then he bought, he gave me the volume shampoo that I'm going to use on my Winston. So I'm just going to keep that over here. Uh, and then I got from Davis, I got some of the hair dye spray. I got five of them. Because I also got the um, airbrush with the colors in. But I got blue, purple, green, red, and more like a pink color. Now these, you just spray on the coat and that's it. And uh, you let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. Hold on, I gotta pause this. But uh, then you would rinse it out and those would stay a little bit longer. Okay. That was for a dog that I saw come in that was pretty mad at him. He needed to be born and they wanted to know if I could do him. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. They're like, will you do him for free? Yes, he needs to be groomed. Yes. I don't care if I don't get paid for it. He needs to be groomed. So yeah, that's... They're gonna call me back to find out if the owner's okay with that, but he needs to be groomed. Anyway, back to the home. Um, I did get another dirty blade because I do need another dirty blade because the one that I did get off of Tino, um, it's great. It's great. The one I got off of Tino. It's actually wonderful. I'm gonna order some more. Um, but I really need another dirty blade to put underneath my blades, um, my guard combs, not my blades. I got some wonderful. Fluff out. I'm running out of space to put shit, guys. And then I kind of get some um, guard combs because the two guard combs that I have, the sides were kind of broke. So I had to get the replacements for the guard combs. This is the half inch. And then this is the three eighths. This is the comb that I love to use. I use these two combs a lot, especially this one. Yeah? Sweet, sweet. Tell her thank you so much. He didn't want to go in, but he's in. Okay. So if you have this book, this is a great book. Um, I got this in a little one. I have the bigger one somewhere. But if you don't have this book and you want to get this book, they now have it through Paragon on a freaking app. And the cool thing about the app is, yeah, click one of those things and pull it up. Um, this would be, uh, I think these are for grads, but you can share your story. But if you click this one, it'll bring it all the way up into your Play Store or Apple Store. Um, it'll pull it up in the app, and basically what it does is it shows you all the grooms that are in this book it shows you all the stuff. But the cool thing about it is, it gives you the option to set lines. Uh, so like if you want to do it higher to kind of, you know, if you're going over it with a client, you can do different lines. And it's got like the little note thing to where you can write notes. So like if you're teaching other people um, or you're trying to show other people that are in your salon different things, 
you can send it to them. And the other cool thing about this Paragon thing is, um, I think it is a monthly a subscription or you can buy the year subscription. So, it, so it is a subscription. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that's a great book. Shut up. Shut your face. Um, it's great. But um, they're going to be eventually adding in demos in there on how to do faces and how to do parts on the body. Um, for either new groomers or old groomers, which I think is really, 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 really cool. Um, so if you're experienced or not, you don't have that book, get your little phone, get the little QR code, or just look up um, Paragon um, Grooming Guides, and that should pull it up. I was so excited when I came by this. I was really excited that I didn't, that I didn't win. Um, a little surprise, but whatever um this was the other sticker that i got is of a corgi and then i got this one of this little frenchie and i'm gonna put them up on my little board over here <coughs> wait there's more guys i'm not done yet okay so i did get um the other part to the clippers and the cool thing is this will fit this clipper and that other clipper. So that was kind of nice. I got another pair of nail clippers and as I got these, I was like, I don't really like the design of them. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I probably will because I needed another pair. So I got another pair of those. I'm actually gonna shove those right in my in my handy dandy pocket. I got some cool groomer. Paul's sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. Why does he wear sunglasses? I'm stupid. I never understood that. Anyway. Uh, um, I got some free grips you put on your clippers. I got some elbow um, pad and nose cream. I've been getting a lot of people asking about that. I got this. This was from, I think, uh, Pet Store Direct. Now, this is pretty much a their idea of a groomer's helper. This piece here, and I'm going to put it on my table. This piece here, Where's the arm? Okay. So this piece here, I'm gonna move all this. I'm gonna move it. Move it in here. You get this, right? Okay, and you wrap this around into your table. Uh, uh, uh. Is that my pit stop? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this the other way. Okay, so it goes the other way. Is it the other one? I feel really stupid right now. Hold on, give me a second. Because it's got the felt here and it's got that there. So hold on a second. Let me look at the directions because mama's a little, a little slow. Okay. But these are the directions on here for this. Okay. Uh, dog can slide up and down the grooming table with no extra adjustments. Okay, so you can put this at the top too if you needed to. do this because I'm kind of slow. I'm really just trying to figure out how they did this because this part has to go on this. So clearly, I'm doing something not correct. So I'm gonna have to YouTube how to do that. But it does come with one of these, so that you can put this on this, and then you can connect this to any of the loops. So basically the dog can't, can't move. So I'm gonna have to YouTube how to put that on, because apparently I'm too stupid to uh, 
figure that out. That unless I got a one that's not supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, I'm just unless I'm not supposed to put it for here. I don't know. I just have to figure it out. I'm just I just thought that you would have to put it through that clip so it wouldn't slide. So it wouldn't slide. These were the other pair of scissors that I got. I got these from, shit, what store is that? This was from Pedigree. Uh, Danielle got the same ones. Yeah, this says Pedigree on them. And they can't really see. These are um, stainless steel 440C. And these are, I believe, oh, look at that. They even put the little number on there. These are seven inches. And these are a pair of chunkers. Those. These were my super curves that I got from that bold place. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to use these. These feel super duper light. These are eight inches. Um, these are made out of the same ones out of the last one, Japanese uh, 440C. I'm really excited to use those as well. Then I got some, I got like four of these. Yeah, I saw him and I was like, yeah, I need to grip him. It's, it's horrible. I don't understand why they, like, don't come in. Yeah, you just say that she paid, though. No, I mean, There's that. There's that. But I like these ones because these have the little loopy, the little hole thing. So 